What was the inspiration for it besides of Iron Maiden? <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, basically the song got its start from a really kind of traditional way how we do stuff that we we're just sitting around at the rehearsal place, you know, just jamming around. Then I just got this idea that that would be really awesome to start a song with an acoustic or a clean, a clean kind of kind of riff thing like that then I just started playing it and we literally played it for like an hour just the first the opening riff and I started just doing some solos over it and then pretty soon you know the next the next riff that has the melody that came about and then I'd say it was about two hours after that we had all of the riffs done for the for the song and then we just started putting it like putting riffs there and there and there and we got the structure And I mean, well, inspirations for that song, you know, it's a really like kind of apocalyptic sounding song that you can really sense the end of the world <laughs> in the beginning, stuff like that. But but then, I mean, lyrically, the song is just like, you know, a totally fictional story about this dude who who goes to sleep and he gets killed in his dreams every night. And then this last night, he just doesn't wake up anymore. So, I mean, it's a kind of a really stressful kind of environment. And, and I think we really got that captured in the, in the studio version. Would be a, also a great topic for a horror movie, I think. Exactly. Now we're just waiting for Only My Death is Certain, the movie. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can uh, get you some contacts. Oh, I will produce it. Can I play a role in it? Of course. Of course. Cool. Yeah, then let's do it. Oh, and maybe that's a good opportunity because your bandmates are not here. What do you like most about each of your bandmates and what don't you like? I fucking hate all of them. <laughs> okay, now you know. No, 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 no. I mean, one of the things that you know I just love about all of them together is of course just the fact that they're not my friends, they're my brothers. And just like, you know, we, we get along so well. And there's no bullshit between us, you know, we, we talk about everything as it is. And I mean, we'll, if I gotta say something about everyone, I mean, with Arto, our guitarist, I mean, the fact that I literally have never seen a guitarist who shreds so fucking well, and somehow we play together so well, it's really cool. And Mirko, I mean, he plays bass, you know, fucking bass, but still, I mean, he... He figures these really cool bass lines all the time, which is just mind blowing. And then, of course, with Ossi, he's the he's the best best drummer in the world. I mean, the stuff that he that he just you know makes up is just so cool. And I respect the dude so much for everything he's done for us. That I mean, I love all of the guys in the band. Seriously, much Aww. love to you guys. <laughs> End of February, you're gonna start your tour to the UK and to Europe. How does it feel? Are you already excited about it? Well, you know, I just can't wait to get back on the road because, I mean, it's been too long. I mean, the last time we were touring was, uh, like, our touring Europe was, you know, in it, back in 2014, we did the tour with Destruction in the end of the year. So, I mean, it's been too long, so I'm really stoked to get back, you know, on the tour bus, living the life. And, I mean, especially the fact that it's with Exodus, which is, for me, one of the one of the greatest thrash metal bands ever. Because, I mean, for so many reasons, because, first of all, it's one of the bands that, you know, they survived through the 80s until this day, and they still play so fucking well. And the guys are awesome. We've met them a couple of times. So I expect that we're going to destroy a bunch of places. <laughs> yeah, and when we met last time, uh, actually, it was uh, 2014. And you told me that you were about to go on this tour with this Destruction and you were really excited. How was it? How was that tour? I mean, the tour was great because, I mean, we, because, I mean, it was actually the first time that we got to tour also the UK, like, more than just one show. So that was, of course, really cool. We got to go to Ireland, stuff like that. And, I mean, the tour was really great. We met so many cool people and we had, a, we had such a good time. So, I mean, it was a great, great success, I'd say. One really cool question. No, it's an idiot question. But <laughs> last time we talked about your band name and you said you're all kind of lost. My question now is, so many years after that, do you still feel lost? No, now we feel pretty brain dead. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're going to be lost till the end, you know. I mean, it's, the world's a funny place. You never know what's going to happen. I think we're all a bit lost. At least I can say for myself, I'm a bit lost all the time. But I mean, I'm just trying to find my way. Oh, and since we met the last time, you got some new tattoos. Do you want to show them? I think on your hand, for example. No, I think this tiger. Well, I mean, is I'm, it? 
It w- wasn't it when we played the show in the circus the last time that we we did an interview? Yes. Well, I mean, after that, I've got a bunch of tattoos. I don't even remember. I mean, I got, Your hands on your I got, tattoos. I got my hands. Big shout out to Paradise Tattoo, Jako. Ah, to Kalle. I I met Kalle Ko of uh, at the Hollow. Oh, that, that's a fucking awesome band too. I mean, anyway, then I've I've got some new tattoos on my hand and stuff. But I mean, you know. It's it's never enough. <laughs> Actually, after a couple of hours, I'm gonna get a new tattoo. <laughs> really? Hell yeah. What is the next one? Can you tell about it already? I'm gonna get my knuckles tattooed right now. It's gonna be painful, but it's gonna be cool. <laughs> so we have the last interview with you without tattooed knuckles. Can you show them once? Exactly. Like this is the last time you see these blank. <laughs> Here are my naked knuckles. Take a wide motherfucking look at them. <laughs> Thank you. And maybe uh, one last thing. Do you have a message to your fans? Of course. I mean, a huge shout out to everyone who has supported us throughout the years and everyone who's come to the shows, everyone who's bought the albums. We are absolutely nothing without you amazing people. So please check out the album. It's coming out February 12th, Brain Dead. And hopefully we'll see you in a show near you. Thank you very much, Sammy. My pleasure. And goodbye from the Music Interview Corner. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>